Hey guys, it's Steph Mischuk with KillerSites.com. I'm trying a new video angle just to spice it up a little. In this vlog, I'm going to answer a question that was recently put to me uh, through email. And basically the question is, or was, uh, was it difficult for you to grasp uh, programming concepts when you first started to learn how to program and, and to build websites? And, uh, or did it just click fairly easily? Uh, short answer, it was actually pretty difficult for me at first. Uh, I came from a background of, uh, of graphic design, a bit of marketing. I was more design-centric and also management. Uh, so when I first started to learn how to program and build sites in the uh, early 90s, mid-90s, it was very difficult for me, so I oftentimes had to keep redoing it, redoing it, redoing it. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to build, uh, start building tutorials, write tutorials on web design, web programming, because I saw a lot of the holes in, in the way that it was taught in all the books and videos I had seen at that time. And I still see it to, today where, you know, you know, those that have a subject, they'll have a video or a book or introduce software development programming for instance and they'll say you know this is a variable this is how you create a variable in javascript and you can do this and this and this to a variable and so on but they never explain what a variable really is and why you create a variable what's the whole point of creating a variable for me it was important for me to understand why we did certain things as opposed to you just do this and I believe that understanding that why, whether it be in variable creation or whether it be in structuring your code properly in a site, etc., I believe understanding the why will make you a much better web designer and web programmer down the road. So that's why I concentrate on that a lot with the basics. And that's why I do a personally a lot of the basics of videos because they're the hardest to teach. And then, uh, because of time, I have other people do some other stuff as well, some of the more advanced stuff. And uh, because once you have somebody who has a base of knowledge, it's much easier to teach them anything, whether it be programming, design, or uh, boxing. And uh, there you go. So I hope that answers the question. Uh, if you're having a bit of a frustrating time learning this stuff, don't worry about it, it's part of the process for many of us and it's, it's actually a good thing because when you find yourself uh, challenged by something mentally or physically, that means you're introducing something new to yourself, new to your body, new to your mind, which in the end will strengthen your, your mind, strengthen your body and will make you much more capable uh, later on. So yeah, if you're, you're hitting resistance, it's like finding a, a diamond. In the, in the sand. It's like finding some spot you can work on and that's cool. So uh, it's always an issue for me when uh, if everything is coming easy it's kind of fun in a way but you also know in the back of your of your mind you're not actually progressing anywhere. So it's always good to hit some challenges because of uh, you know you're improving, you're improving on things. Anyway that's it. I hope you found the video useful. There should be more video blogs coming out on a regular basis because um, I have more free time. Ciao.